Hi all, welcome to my Team of the Week 18 predictions video. This one's not looking great. There is room to juice it up, I will not deny. Uh, where it happens or not is a different matter, but we will try our best. See if we can get our good scoring week in our um, cap. So good smash likes are always, we much appreciate it. Sub to the channel if you're new from it, where it is a legend. All links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below who you think could get an inform this week. Who do you think could be the silver star? There's um. Silver Stars actually could be quite decent and there's a returning player from last week making our cut this week. So team of the week 18 at the moment my team is Pavlenka is potentially the main goalie. Um, 9 saves he made for Werder Bremen, big victory. Goalkeepers this week, there is a few standouts. Um, but Pavlenka is where I'm kind of leaning towards. Some predictors will not include him, some will. The alternative is Muller, um, but it depends on what kicker good for eight and that will come out in the morning. Um, it used to be I used to be able to get it like late at night, but it seems like German media is just not quite as fluid um, just now. But we'll see what happens. Defensively, the main shouts at the moment look like Alba for one goal clean sheet. Lewandowski can't happen, Kimmich can't happen due to team of the year. They, they in theory can, but I can't see them happening. So, and also Muller can't happen as well because he's current, and currently team of 17. So it falls to Alaba is the next most likely. I feel someone from Bayern will happen. It just makes team um, Bayern have more specials in packs um, during team of the year. And to be honest, I just up Alaba is not a bad shout. So, Take it while you can. Cudrado for one assist and a clean sheet. Um, Gazetta have not seen their final range, which is a bit annoying because usually I would have it by now. It's usually by say 9 o'clock um, or even 8 o'clock I've sometimes got it, but there's not a thing at all. So hey ho, that's what you get. And um, LVD for two goals for him. Um, the game against Dortmund is a big game anyway, it was a derby. Um, Niehaus could happen as well, but I feel LVD is the most likely. Obviously, as a team at group stage, which is an 82, so this will go to an 84. Midfield is going to be interesting. I've gone for Frankie de Jong for one goal, one assist. Cruz for two assists and a free on marker. And finishing off with Canales for two goals and a free on marker. And marker, I know they don't rely on too much, but I still like to rely on it nonetheless. It's given me a good guide with. Uh, Betis, especially with Canales, it could be hit. Fakir is the alternative, he only got a 2, so that's kind of why I went Canales. Touching on Real Madrid, um, Benzema 2 goals, and he got a 3 on Marca, and same for um, Modric in the game, but Hazard was 1 goal, 1 assist, but only on 1 on Marca. People will be like, gee, where's Hazard, you, know, you don't know nothing. When you got 1 on Marca, you must have been awful, you, you don't get 1. Um, without a reason, so that's why we have gone for Cruz for two assists. And sometimes, usually, whoever the official will really get one of the match sometimes swings it as well. Uh, midfield and um, final kind of like midfield forward spot is the Abbey one goal, one assist, and a 1.5 on kicker. Usually, it's hard to ignore, um, in all honesty. Yes, he has a road to the final, but the inform would be below that, so his base is 81, his inform goes to 84. But I suppose we will see in due course. Three of our forwards. Um, three, four of our forwards that have potential um, informs inbound is Kramaric for two goals and a 1.5 on kicker. Andre Silver for two goals. Um, his inform was about like team of the week 13, but I still feel it's him or Kostic will happen. I've just went for Andre Silver just for um, swing, um, in my opinion. Um, so Felix for one goal, one assist. So if you've got his headliners, um, you are laughing. So. And I think that's the four wins as well, so or close to it. So, um, we're definitely if you're in Joe Felix, you are laughing, and a few people will probably have him in their predictions. But um, we'll see how that progresses. Anacardi for one goal, one assist. PSG is going to get an inform and Bappy seemed the most likely. Acardi seems the next most likely player, and um, but someone from PSG is more than likely from the, the game due to the result. Subs and reserves, we start off with um, Nick Pope, 6 saves, a clean sheet and a man of the match against Liverpool. Should be pretty academic really for the second goalkeeper spot. Schmeichel is the other Premier League alternative for the Chelsea game. Um, Madison could be the likely shoot from that game as well, I had him obviously last week. 
Um, so he could happen again, but he could happen this week. But time will tell with that game. Like Premier League needs a few options. Madison or um, could sneak in somewhere over someone else. Um, from there we have Adal Atal even one goal on a clean sheet, so it goes in line with his road to the final. If you didn't do that SBC, you've not missed out. Nia Kate for uh, two goals. Um, should be fairly straight forward. Um, then from there, Romero's a tricky one because obviously he has a 74 team in the group stage card. I'm assuming this in form will be 80 rated. So I'm not 100% sure on this. This is the first situation where, first time we're going to have this experience for an in form. Um, Adelanta, very impressive, and Romero kind of was the focal point in defence. So it will be an interesting one how Romero plays out. but we'll see what happens come Wednesday if he gets in what will his rating be that is kind of up in the air I'm suspecting 80 but I suppose we'll get a clearer idea in due course then from there we kind of have Zach and Aggie for one goal one assist he was very impressive in the result against Napoli very standout performance now my silvers and bronzes at the moment is a bit high if I'm honest I have probably got too many but that stems from Romero that's kind of my reason and uh, Romero's kind of making things a little bit difficult because we have uh, Jackers 10 saves and a clean sheet very impressive performance Akbunar 2 goals 1 assist, Bolly 1 goal 2 assist, Hossener 2 goals 2 assist, Huang 2 goals and Reza Guccianad for a hat trick so as you can tell we have maybe one too many silver than we would like. If anyone's going to get dropped it will most likely be Huang for two goals because uh, silver stars wise this week is most likely looking at the moment to be one of Cadaver for two goals unless Marcel gets in defence potentially. Uh, Bulaya for one goal one assist, we had him in last week, it was a very strong shout due to the victory against Leon, and it was also impressive, I think it was in the midweek game and also can zombie for two goals. They're kind of like my main free shouts at the moment. Germany seems to get many, many like not just Germany, but like German, um, like like Bundesliga, um, second Bundesliga, third Bundesliga, just seem to rack up tons of special cards this year. And it's the alternative to like England, if you want England or Germany, it's like Silver Stars team, that's kind of like your way to go about it. But I suppose we'll see in due course, obviously. I as I say, the trickiest part is Romero um, for the starting 11. But Silver Stars, I feel pretty confident on. Same with the rest of the team, if honest. I feel pretty um, happy and content with it. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below who you think I may have missed. There's like Nida Lechner, Myron Bobodu. There's tons of players I know, so don't worry about it. I'm not like there's. I've got a long list of players. It's like going to be fun in games how it progresses but let me know as I said in the comments down below who you think could get a team of the week smash like it's always and I'll catch you all